This is a follow-up video. I made the first video, What are Roof Rafter Collar Ties? And the individual says, hey, I'm having a hard time figuring out where they need to be located. How do you figure out the one-third area, as I suggested in the video? And I went ahead and did a little research to make sure that I was uh, looking at things correctly. And I might not have been. I'd like to point that out, depending upon what is referred to, but uh, the Building Code Book, 2012 International Residential Code Book on page 378, and this would be code number R802.3.1, says that the minimum size for the collar ties will be a one by four, and the maximum spacing will be four foot on center. So if you have rafters that are two foot apart, that would be every other rafter. And this is a maximum. So if you have a rafter that's um, two foot apart and the next rafter is two foot one inch or two foot two inches apart, you might need to put uh, another rafter tie or a strap. It does allow you to install a strap also. Keep in mind it does not call out for a specific sized strap it just says that you can use one and even the nailing on this uh, it didn't really say give us much information on that even found a reference point to, to send me back to another um, page and that was a little confusing it was about wall studs didn't uh, make any sense to me so the uh, code book does say that the measurement will be in the attic space area now, what is the exact, uh, the, exactly the attic space area? I would go from the top of the ceiling joist to the bottom of the roof rafters. But the attic space, if you think about it, could be the top of the roof rafter because you are going to have attic space in between the rafters and you are going to have space attic space in between the ceiling joist. So like a lot of problems with the building codes um, they don't uh, give you an exact detail but uh, this is close enough and i believe they actually had a drawing suggesting this um, also so we will go with this right here now let's say that we measure from the bottom of the ceiling or bottom of the roof rafter the top of the ceiling joist and we come up with 60 inches we have a 60 inch vertical measurement we divide 60 um, by 3, and of course that would give us 20 inches. Measure down 20 inches, and then anything above this is where you could locate your roof rafter collar ties. Our example here shows a 2 by 4 and um, a 1 by 6, even though they allow them, could, uh, could be a problem. You know, if you have a 16 foot long one by six for your collar tie, I don't know. I think I would rather have a shorter collar tie, but uh, I'm not an engineer. I like to shove these things all the way to the top. Whenever I build a conventionally framed roof, I put the collar ties right underneath the roof ridge. And uh, that is where I like to see them. And if I don't use a collar tie, I will use a strap. And the straps, of course, are going to be 48 inches on center. If these are 16-inch rafters, 16-inch um, spans, or 16-inch on centers. Then we would have a 16-inch, a 32-inch, and a 48-inch. 48 inches is the maximum distance you can space the collar ties and the building straps. So, hope that makes sense. Hope it was a little more helpful. Um, if I was going to, like I said, uh, install a collar tie, I would uh, put it right underneath it. And as far as nailing goes, I would use a 2 by 4 and I would put four nails in each side of the collar tie, four 16D nails, and uh, that would be it. But again, remember, I am not an engineer. Some of the building code information, even though it can be interpreted by a variety of different people, um, isn't always going to be interpreted um, to your satisfaction as a contractor builder or homeowner. And like I said, there are plenty of people who can interpret this stuff and agree on it, but uh, why they can't make it a little more easier for everyone else to understand, I don't know.